Watch it. Yeah, watch it, Willie. Sorry, I was zoning out. I'm sorry. Well, let me help you clear your head. <laughs> So the dance is Friday. My question is, where are we gonna get our halo on? My basement or yours? Hello, Will? Are you listening to me? What? Yeah, halo. <laughs> You're not listening to me. You're romancing Anna in your mind again. No, I'm not. Dude, just ask her to the dance. It would be way less creepy than you staring at her all the time. What if she shoots me down? Oh, she's gonna shoot you down. No question about that. But you'd be less creepy. <laughs> Shut up. See you tomorrow. Later, man. because I like making little wusses like you scream. It cracks me up. <laughs> you gonna stay there all day, Will? Do I know you? You do now. Jake Skinner. So, how come you let those guys mess with you? Travis and Chang? No, Lewis and Clark. Yeah. Travis and Chang, how come? There's nothing I can do about it. I know guys like Travis and Chang, and they won't leave you alone unless you make them. What am I supposed to do? Fight him? They destroy me. See you later, man. Yeah. Later. Natural selection. Survival of the fittest. The strongest, the most cunning creatures, outlasting the weak. What we have is species who seek an advantage so that they may eat, and therefore have more energy to propagate, not unlike the various species in this class. So, so last night my dad asked me if I needed a dress, and I was like, what for? And he's like, the spring cotillion. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, Dad, what century are you from, right? And then he's like, well, I was under the impression your school was having an upcoming cotillion. And I was like, yeah, it's just a stupid school dance. Like, most girls would be wearing jeans anyways. And he's like, okay, so do you want me to buy you a new pair of jeans? And I was like, no, Dad, it's okay. <laughs> he's so sweet. <laughs> something you want? No. Um, are you going on Mr. Sadiq's field trip tomorrow? Yeah, the whole class is. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Anna, actually, there is something. I heard you talking there about the dance, and I know it's kind of lame, but I was also wondering if maybe you'd like to go with me to the... Stop! Oh! Oh! Check it out. Little Willie peed himself. <laughs> Come on, Willie is an accident. We're still friends, right? Travis and Chang suck. You should... Probably go to the bathroom and, you know, dry off. Just once, I wish I could get them back. Starting a war with Travis and Chang? Probably not the best idea. 
I told you, they are not going to stop unless somebody makes them. Yeah, I don't think I'm that somebody. I am. What do you mean? I mean, I'll take care of Travis and Shane. But why would you do that? <laughs> it's simple. I do this for you, and then when I need something, you pay me back. It's a favor for a favor. So, what do you say, Will? We got a deal? Yeah. Yeah, we have a deal. No need. I trust you. And some birds, like the sparrow or the starling, are known to take over the nests of other birds. Let's consider the cuckoo. They're the family Cuculidae, and they're a medium-sized slender bird. Now, many of the species, not all, not all, but many, like the yellow-bellied cuckoo, which can be found in these woods at certain times, New pants? are brood parasites. Nah, just dry ones. You think I should tell Travis that's poison ivy? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Willie? Nothing, it's just that's poison ivy. You know, you can tell by the three leaves. You really think it's a good idea to mess with me? Out here in the forest where, you know, nobody's watching? Just you know that out, Travis. a little runt like you could get himself hurt? Whoa! Travis, cut it out! Stop! Is that somebody sleeping? Probably some bum. In the middle of the woods? I think it's a dead body. Oh my god! Dude, that's nasty! Oh. What? What? He's dead, dude. He's probably got maggots crawling through him. Nobody touch him. Oh! Nobody? I dare you to touch him, Will. No, I'm not. I think you are. Huh, I'm going to get Mr. Sadig. Okay. So we're waiting, Will. Will, we're waiting! Wicked. Excellent! That was perfect! You're happy, huh? Totally! Did you like the leg? Genius! Did you see their faces? That was beyond brilliant. Finally even with those jerks. Even? Really? I don't think so. I mean, they humiliated you in front of Anna. Can't let them get away with that. You gotta kick it up a notch. I still don't understand why you want to help me. Because I don't like bullies. And like I said, one day you'll do me a favor, and then we'll be even. So, what do you say? Kick it up a notch. It's just me. You seriously need to stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry. Come on, we have to go find Mr. Sadig and tell him about the body. Wait, Anna. It's not a real body. What are you talking about? I saw it. It, it's, it was a joke. On Travis and Chang, I swear. It was just a prank. Jake and I... Jake? The new kid. He wanted to help me get back at Travis, so he pretended to be a dead body. You know, to scare him. You played a joke on Travis and Chang. Had to be done. <laughs> Why aren't you tough all of a sudden? Anna, the, the spring fling. I know it's no big deal, but would you go with me? I mean, if you don't want to go with somebody, I understand. I mean, it's not like it's a cotillion or something. No. I mean, yeah, I'd love to go. But I'm working the door, so can you meet me there? Absolutely. See you at eight? Yeah, if you're still alive, tough guy.
Travis. What happened? Here, come on. Come on. Everyone to the bus. Wow, that was some prank. I don't get it. It wasn't that scary. What's up? It's Travis. He's not coming back to school. What do you mean? For how long? Like, indefinitely. His mom called him in sick, but everyone's saying it's because of what happened on the field trip. Well, what really happened out there? You saw it all Jake and I did. Who's Jake? Jake Skinner. There's no new kid named Jake. Of course there is. You just haven't met him yet. Look, I gotta go. Ain't no way you could have met Jake Skinner. Yeah? Why's that? Because Jake Skinner died in your help anymore. I'm done. I'm out. Oh, it's too late for that because I was just getting started. Stay away from me. But I'm having so much fun. you know about Jake Skinner? You messing with things you don't understand, boy? How do you know Jake? Who was he? Jake was a bit of a loner. People thought he was a real strange kid. Then a couple jocks started picking on him. Well, finally, Jake had had enough and he decided he was going to get back at those boys by playing a little prank. Jocks weren't too happy about that. So on the night of the spring fling, they decided they were going to teach Jake a lesson. That was the night the old gym burned to the ground. 1961. Everyone escaped the fire. Everyone but Jake Skinner. you tell me, huh? You're the one that went and made friends with a ghost? Jake? Jake, where are you? Jake, I know you're in here. Come out! Never. I helped you. I got them to leave you alone. You owe me. What do you want? You owe me.
get in there. Ow! Easy, easy, easy. Okay, I said I'm sorry, okay? It's just, I get it? You're a tough guy. It's just... No, please. Let me out of here, please. What? You think you can just mess with me and I wouldn't do anything about it? Let me out of here! Jake, I don't think you understand. You mess with me, I mess with you. <laughs> you are stuck here. Unless someone lets you out, but who'd do that? Who'd help out a loser like you? <laughs> and now, for the grand finale. <laughs> did it. He's gone. Oh man, the dance. Anna. Anna, I'm sorry I'm late. I got hung up. It wasn't my fault, something happened. I, I can't explain it right now, but... Anna, please! Waiting for someone special? I thought I was. I guess the feeling wasn't mutual. Oh, yes, it was. It is. Wait, Anna. Anna? Jake, Jake, help me out, man! Well, if you ask me, he made a serious Aaron judgment. I'm Jake. Oh, the new guy. I didn't think he really existed. I do now. No, 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 he doesn't. He's dead. He's nothing. He's a ghost. You so. I can feel it now. You're burning in my soul. The days grow longer and the nights grow cold. But I swear to God, I will never let you go. So don't you fear. Now we're even. I'll always be right here, right now. 